The Wood Stork, North America's only stork and largest wading bird, has large feet for stability in the marshes and a grooved palmer area for standing on branches. The pairs share all the responsibilities of incubation and feeding of the young. They also take good care of each other with mutual grooming along with the extensive personal hygiene. The parents load up with food as much as 15 miles away and it looks like in this case uh, that they eat some of the excess regurgitate that they have returned with. Here one parent is testing to see if the third chick is alive and it's not. Survival of the chicks depends on the food supply. This dead chick stayed in the nest for about five days before disappearing. The wood storks drink water in the pond being wary of alligators. And if it's hot, they can take the water back and dribble it on their chicks or eggs and put up their wing umbrella to keep the offspring cool. This is some grope feeding. The bill is kept open and with the fastest reflex will close on anything that swims through. Alligators are an important part of this rookery because they keep raccoons away. This has been slowed down to show regurgitation in progress. The chicks are fed uh, 15 times a day for the first uh, month or so, by which time they will have increased their hatch weight by 25 times. They consume approximately 60% of their body weight each day. At two months after hatching, the family will have consumed about 400 pounds of seafood. This is when the chicks fledge. Here you can see the bill clicking and stimulation of the chicks to make the parent uh, regurgitate the food that they've flown home with. This slow motion will show it a little more clearly. The parent can bring home fish as long as eight inches, along with mollusks and frogs and other delectables. The wood storks can feed day or night and in murky waters 
because they are tactile feeders, groping as they stir the waters, walking with their bills open, wings sometimes flicking to startle the prey. They also employ foot stirring, chase things up out of the mud or sand. Here, one parent uh, regurgitated on the 16th fairway. I don't know if this was to get the chicks out of the nest, uh, but they sure liked the dinner table on our 16th hole. Thank <laughs> you.